Ooh. Mm. Oh no. Also, by the way, um, this fight was also, you know, uh, like two weeks ago. He wasn't ready. I'm gonna pause it right there. Oh man, Nate Robinson wasn't ready. Why would he why would he do this to himself? Like, you know, Jake Paul is getting better though. Like I'm i I'm gonna tell you that he is getting better. Um, but I'm also gonna tell you this. He is not gonna beat Conor McGregor. Uh it wouldn't be a good idea for him to go against Conor McGregor. <laughs> he would get he would get hurt. But Nate Robinson, man, he just tried to come in like like he like to like street fight. Like you just like <laughs> like also oh, I can't believe Nate Robinson is thirty six years old. He he does even he looks like like he does not look thirty six. <laughs> but man, dude, <laughs> like <laughs> he destroyed Nate. Like you know. Nate, man, he just wasn't ready, you know, like, boxing is, is like, you know, like, like, you have to, like, commit to it, man, like, I mean, I'm pretty sure you committed to it, but this is a dangerous sport, man, like, a lot of these celebrities keep, like, you know, trying to box, you know, like, Fousey Tube and all these other YouTubers, like, Audis and Gibb, like, boxing, like, boxing is a real sport, man. You get punched in the face, like, 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 you know, like, it, it's a big commitment to do this, man. You know, it, it, I, but, you know, respect, you know, Nate Robinson, both of them, you know, for coming in the ring, man, because it takes a lot of guts to, you know, just come in the ring, man, but Nate Robinson, man, oh, I wonder what's going to be next for Jake Paul, like, maybe, KSI, Conor McGregor, um, you know, um, his brother, uh, Logan Paul is going to be fighting, uh, Floyd Mayweather, I think February the 20th, it's going to be on, um, what is it called, uh, Fanmeo, um, I already did that video before, but, man, just, he wasn't ready, he shouldn't, that, like, like, Oh, like, he just wasn't ready, man. Like, also, I, I was going for Jake. I bet it, I bet on this fight, and I won. Um, you know, Nate Robinson did not want to be in there. Like, like it would have been worse if, if, if Jake, if it was for Jake Paul, because Jake Paul, you know, he talks a lot of smack, you know, and if he lost, it, like, he would have been the clown of the internet. So it would have been worse, <laughs> Man, dude, just all all these NBA players and all these like YouTube celebrities, and I and I apologize if my uh, voice is cracky. It been that like that for the last couple of days, but um, like the all these like basketball players and all these like YouTubers, all these celebrities, like like they always wanted they like now they want to go in the and like come in the boxing light like, like ever since like uh. KSI and Logan Paul fought. Everybody started wanting to, like, fight, man. But Jake Paul, don't get me wrong. Jake Paul does have power. Like, don't like you. Don't get me wrong. Jake Paul does have power. That's for sure. Jake Paul for sure has power. Um, Like, shockingly, the person who lasted the longest with Jake Paul is Deji. 
like Deji, uh, aka uh, Comedy Shorts Gamer, um, lasted five rounds with um, with Jake Paul. In my opinion, he actually put more damage on uh, Jake Paul than any of them. In my opinion, but man, dude, th- like boxing, man, it- it's a real sport. I like say for every other sport, but you know this is like a, a commitment, man. Like you know, like. Nate Robinson just came in here and just, like, looked like a phone. He got knocked out. Wow, I kind of, I kind of feel bad for Nate, in my opinion. I mean, not my... Like, I, I kind of feel bad for Nate. Man, oh. Like, I thought it was actually going to be a pretty good fight between Nate Robinson and uh, uh, Jake Paul. But Jake Paul was just beating him. He was just beating him up and just smoked him. <laughs> But, dude, man, Jake Paul, if I rate him 1 to 10 right now, I'll probably give him a 6. He's still improving, man. Um, he's Like, he's never going to fight like a real boxer. I'm just telling you that right now. Maybe like maybe like a, like a UFC fighter, but never like a boxer. I'm telling you that right now. And he and Jake Paul did uh, call out Chris Brown um, the uh, when he fought Deji and won. By TKO, um, he did call out Deji. I mean, uh, uh, he did call out Chris Brown. In my opinion, if if Jake Paul and um, Chris Brown went at it, uh, my opinion, I think um, Jake Paul is going to win by um, KO. But I don't even know if they're both in the same. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. <sighs> I feel bad for Nate. Like, like, after, like, I've seen video, like, little clips and videos of Nate Robinson training. Like, I wasn't really that impressed because of it, because his hooks uh, were kind of sloppy. You know, I know, I know, like, he isn't, like, a, a real boxer. But if you want to, like, be a boxer, you got to have, like, you know, good hooks. You're, like, your punches have to be on point. Like, you know, because um, boxing isn't just about you know, knocking people, like, boxing is about, like, smartness, and, like, you know, technique, but, wow, (laughs) Nate Robinson went to sleep, like, the way how Jake Paul punched him, and just flopped him on the ground, oh, lord, oh, lord, man, oh, (laughs) Cause like, dude, like he literally flopped on the ground. Like, when the guy, cause he, cause like, the thing that like, um, Nate Robinson should have never done is that he should have never ran to Jake Paul. Because like, cause Jake Paul was trying to look for the counter, so like he was just trying, you know, to, you know, just bob and weave and just punch it. But then Jake Paul just caught him, and then he just flopped on the floor, and then it was just over. He like, like he went to sleep. My guy, oh. <sighs> Went to sleep. Yeah, man. So, yeah, man. Um, that's all I gotta say for this one. Um, thank you all for watching this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. I'm Fight Media 360, and thank you all for watching this video.